Hey, witches. Hi, hello, and welcome back. We are so going to do... Whole Swain. Yeah. And I sound ridiculous. So enjoy that. It's great. You have to... <clears throat> Honestly, I just used my inhaler, so hopefully that helps. Like, the fuck? Listen, so, I've been sucking on the uh, inhaler. Like, there's no tomorrow. Same. Like, the... And then the weather keeps going up and down and up and down, so, like, it's just awful. And then yeah. those nasty little gremlins that I work with gave me an illness, and I had to go get medication, and... <clears throat> there I go. I'm on day <clears throat> five of a steroid, and I just finished my antibiotic yesterday. Woo. But I sound a thousand times better today than I did last week, or even really yesterday, so we're going to just go with it. By the time we're done recording the second episode tonight, I'll probably sound like shit again, but it's it's fine. So I'm it is what it is in here on the first page of this chapter. We're all starting on chapter 13, which is threshing. Like October 1st is always threshing is the first sentence of the um, chapter. And I didn't write anything about this for some reason, but I highlighted it. So Professor Kaori says, remember to listen here and puts his hand over his chest if a dragon has already selected you, they'll be calling. So pay attention not just to your surroundings, but your feelings and go with them. And if your feelings are telling you to go the other direction, listen to that too. And I was like, yes. I have anxiety. I can't do that. My anxiety tells me <laughs> one thing. <laughs> Evaluate. And I, and I sit there and say, that's just my anxiety talking. I'm going to keep going. Right? Second guess it. Second guess your intuition because your anxiety is like fucked up. Yeah. Maybe my intuition has been right all along and I just said it was anxiety and then I just fucked up everything. <laughs> uh, um, um, I don't so have anything until the second page. On page 156? Yeah. My next thing is also on that page. Is it about Dane? <laughs> no. Because <laughs> mine is. Yeah, mine is. Uh, listen, it's it's like from the first part of the chapter to the second part of the chapter. He's like, uh, I don't know what name I was about to spew out of my mouth, but it wasn't uh, Violet. But... um. Violet said, Dane tried talking me into a brown, like talking about which dragon they should go with. And I guess browns are probably the safest option. And Rhiannon goes, Dane lost his vote when he tried talking you into leaving. Yes, girl. Fuck you, Dane. Rhiannon is I right. I highlighted it and I literally Fuck wrote you. Snaps. Yes. Fuck you. Yes. <laughs> fucking Dane is the fucking worst. Not the worst. There are worse, there are, there are some evil little fucks in this chapter we're about to read about or talk about, but Dane is the worst. <laughs> He's the least supportive best friend anyone yeah, has ever like, had. He fucking sucks. Yeah. Ugh. Like Rhiannon and like Zayden, Zayden, literally everyone says that Zayden wants her dead. And I'm sitting there like, Zayden's more supportive of her and they're supposed to be like, like enemies. fucking enemies yeah. yeah he's like well you know what we're gonna do this because you deserve that but whatever like i still want you dead what the like that's more support than dane's ever given her yeah dane fucking sucks ass like he's the worst i can't even <clears throat> but then oh uh, yeah they, they keep going and they're in the threshing now so I really all... like side note, I really like Riddick. He does we haven't heard much about him, but he still pulls her into a hug and just goes, Don't die. Yeah. Like, he's like bestie. Yeah, a the comedic relief best friend kind of vibe. Yeah. 
he's important but not important like he's just there yeah anyways thrashing yes um so she is like <coughs> oh my god <coughs> she's run into a couple of dragons but they're not hers and <clears throat> she's looking for like more dragons so she climbs a tree and she sees like a bunch of dragons and she's not feeling pulled towards any of them and then she sees a flash of gold and she climbs down the tree to like start walking and she hears people talking oh no who could be this this scene gave me um hunger games vibes when like katniss is in the tree and the other people are like she went this way yep but in this case they're not actually hunting violet they're hunting the the gold dragon, the feather dragon. Yeah, I thought they were hunting Violet, and I was like, "Why are they calling it like her an it?" It. Like, yeah. I was like, "That's rude," but I mean, I wouldn't put it past them to use that term, right? So I was like, so "Oh shit." Jack Tynan and o- Owen. Oren. Yeah, Owen. Yeah. Which, by the way, I really like the name Tynan. I don't know why, but I do. I hate this character, but I like that name. Anyway. Tynan? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how um, I feel about it. Probably because I can't pronounce it very well. But they're basically, they're evil little fucks. They're going to kill the gold dragon because it's going to, if it bonds with somebody, it's going to bring down the strength of the whole wing and blah, blah, blah. Fuck. Blah, 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 blah. Fuck off. Like, fuck you. Um, so yeah. Violet decides she's going to get there first and warn it. And I was like, he's like, fuck you. Here we go. Work smarter instead of fighting them, like beat them there and get it out of there. Um, but then, then on the next page, there's that Gryffindor energy because she does get there first, <laughs> but the dragon does not fly away. It just kind of chuffs at her. And then they show up. They get there, and she goes out there to fight. Oh, by the way, she's already um, like fucking Hurt. sprained her fucking ankle by tripping over yeah. a branch. Because she was trying and to then, figure out where Jack was. Yeah, and then she's like, they're like, letting something so weak and incapable of fighting live is against our beliefs. And she's like, you're going to have to get through me then. And I'm like, and there's that Gryffindor energy. Like, the dragon can literally <laughs> fucking fly. It It can fly. It can yeah. get away. Dumbass. So she's going to fight these three. She's trying to reason with them too. And I'm like. She is. I, I, but like, I see your idea behind this. But no. And but then. Some people you just can't reason with. Yeah. And Jack is one of them. Yes. Um, And then Zaddy's there. There he goes. He just shows up. And he just is like, I would strongly recommend you rethink your actions. And I'm like, yeah. 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 Because his uh, his dragon's literally right next to him. <laughs> yep. And like, like he says in the next chapter, like, he's not going to have to do anything. You shouldn't be worried about me. Like, Honestly, though. So Gail is, is yes. <laughs> She is massive and she is a bad bitch. Terrifying. Yeah. Um and like for and all honest, they know, that could be her baby, like for all they know. Right. Like and I th- this when I saw him show up, I was like, fuck yeah. So Gail's gonna scorch <clears throat> them, like it's gonna be great. <clears throat> um they're gonna die. Like, this is gonna be a great fucking chapter. Well, partially. Yeah. Not chapter, so, but I guess the next chapter is going to be good. But yeah. Yeah. So oh. Chapter 14. On the very first page, I my comment is about like the little excerpt at the top. So it says in the 6 centuries of recorded history of dragon and rider, there have been hundreds of known cases where a dragon simply cannot emotionally recover. From the loss of their bonded rider. This happens when the bond is particularly strong. And, and in three documented cases. 
has even caused the untimely death of the dragon. So my theory is Brennan's still alive because I feel like Brennan or, or and you know what's really sad? I can't see your face because it you're I don't know what it is, but like it's going really slow on my end. So like I can't see you or your response to any of this, like see your face. But I feel like the Soaring Gales, like they all pride themselves on not necessarily having like a strong bond with their dragon, but like I also don't want to say being the best, but I feel like Brennan probably would have had a very, very strong bond with his dragon. Uh, so either it wasn't the strongest uh, bond or he's still alive. That's my Interesting thought. Interesting theories. I just feel like Brennan... And, like, the Sorengale family would have a huge bond with their dragons. And we don't know if he's still alive or not, so. Maybe, but we also know that he wasn't, like, um, like, they wouldn't have been bonded for super long before he died. Do we know that, though? I mean, he's not that old. He's only, like, a couple years older than Mira. But Mira's like decorated though in war right right but they so are conscripted like immediately so sure Who how knows? old is how old is a uh, uh mira i don't know if we know that i want to say like she's like two years out of i don't know Let's see. How old is Mira? I honestly need to write in there where I'm... Who I'm talking <laughs> about. She's 26. Oh, okay. She's a little older than Violet than I thought she was then. Because Violet's 20, right? I think so. And Brennan was older than Mira. So never mind. That That didn't make sense. And fourth wing. How much older is Brendan than Violet? He's 10 years older. Okay. So, yeah. Well, so they, they would come out at 23, give or take, right? I think so. So. Because they do four years. Do they do four years? Or they did. I thought he was a third year. He's a fourth year, I think. Oh, pretty sure. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Yep. Um, but anyways, so he tells them to rethink their actions, and Jack's like, "And if we don't want to rethink our actions," and I'm like, <laughs> "Then the dragon is gonna fucking roast you, bitch." <laughs> That's what he sounds like. True fact. <laughs> do it again <laughs> I don't know that I can <laughs> <laughs> that was so good and if we don't want to rethink our actions <laughs> <laughs> he sounds like a whiny Chad <laughs> he does his name should be Chad I mean it's Jack it's pretty close it, fair fair but anyways um, so then they start fighting basically and immediately violet takes jack out of action like immediately she throws one dagger right at his fucking shoulder gets it right at the right point where his arm is incapacitated and he can't do shit um, i just love that we got to see him run <laughs> right and then he ends up running away because she's about to fuck him up and then and he's a coward tynan she hits and like they're basically they're fighting and she's holding her own like against three guys who are not injured well mm -hmm. jack is now but um zayden shouts behind you because oren is about to kill her but adarna or the golden dragon um 
steps in and like snaps at him with her teeth. Um, <clears throat> arr, arr, arr. And Tynan's like, you can't interfere. And Zane says, no, but I can narrate. I don't know why. This is the second time I've read this and I fucking cackled. <laughs> I just cackled. Like, it's fucking funny. And then my favorite cantankerous old grumpy cat shows up. <laughs> He's my fucking favorite. He really is, though. He's, he's so funny. <laughs> he's my fucking favorite. Honestly, the the voice that my cat has in my head, like Kimper, he's yeah. just a crotchety old man, and he, he is Taren. He's sassy, he's crotchety, he's grumpy. He, that is, yes. And I like that he calls everyone by, like, their color. Yeah, silver one. Step aside, silver. silver one. Yeah. And, and then it's like, so funny what? because she's like, me? <laughs> yeah, and he's like, yes, you, move. Um, and then he incinerates Tynan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bye, bitch. Bye, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and fuck then the next you. page, I love this because I say this often. Um. Because Taryn is like, you should end the enemy at your feet. And she's like, I'm not going to kill an unconscious man. And he's like, he would kill you if given the same chance. And she says, well, that's a statement on his character, not mine. And you I, do say that a lot. I do. Like, I do. That's my, that's, that's something I live by. Like, mm -hmm. so I, I really dug, I highlighted it and wrote about it. But I love this grumpy old fuck. He's so favorite. You're he's bleeding. Favorite. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, it's like he's just. And then like they start flying. And she I just love they're like Wait, they're like. Uh yeah. At the end of this chapter, end of the next chapter, she she falls off, and he's like, "You're making us look bad. Stop it." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's so funny because he's just like. Hey yo, I choose you. However, like you need to, I I don't know what you're doing, but you need to stop it. <laughs> yeah. Well, and then like, so I love it because they're like both weirdos, right? Like she does not mm -hmm. fit in. She's not your typical writer, and he's not your typical dragon because she falls off. And most dragons, if they fall off your back, you're falling to your death. They're not going to catch you. Yeah. But he catches her and saves her. I fucking love Taryn. Like his, their banter mm -hmm. is amazing. Everything he says just makes me happy. There's no need to shout. I can hear you just fine. The entire mountain can probably hear you. <laughs> and she just, I love that. She said, I'm she's... sorry. I just didn't think I'd make it this far. And he says, I didn't think I would either. So we have that in common. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just so funny because like he's like I'm not going to let you fall we're gonna prove a point and then he just is like hold on tight <laughs> right and he, like, he just straps her point. yeah he's like alright so, here we go <clears throat> and then she's like asking like oh he says I think we made our point at the end of that and she's mm -hmm. like, why did you choose me? And he says, because you saved her. And she's like, but dragons value strength and cunning and ferocity in their writers. Please do tell me more about what I should value. Like, I just he gives me him. He gives me Reezan vibes. Just like, Re Reese is a crotchety old fucking man, too. Yeah. And he just. Definitely, like, just crotchety old man, like, grumpy as shit. That's yeah. the vibes that he gives. I fucking love it. And I also like it too, where he's just like, by the way, like they're divided between the older ones and the ones that are chose today. Or the 71st. And I'm sitting here like, 
If you know Violet Sorengale, you know that her mom is the whoever, and you should know better. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah. Um, speaking of her mom, fucking What bitch. a bitch. Page 176, at the bottom of the page, Violet's walking up to tell, like, who she's bonded with, like, what dragon she's bonded with. And one of the other commandant, the commandant starts to say, is that really, and almost says his name. And his mom goes, don't say it. Not until she does. Like, somehow Violet has hoodwinked this giant magical creature. Yeah. Into, like, what, bitch? Fucking In- bitch. Before we find out that, like, she bonds with the gold dragon as well, I honestly was, like, she remind like, the gold dragon reminds me of, um, like, a puppy in, like, because yes. at, at first, at first when we first, like, meet her and she, like, pops out of nowhere, I'm, like, she's, like, a puppy and that's just going to continue to follow her around until something is done about it. But then, like, a couple of pages later... The little gold ones, like, and darted into war in them. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> what was she? She like turns back around and she's like, "What?" And then she tells them that she has a second dragon, and then everybody loses their shit. And I'm sitting there like, hey, "Take that, mom, fucker!" <laughs> right? Everybody loses their fucking mind. And I literally wrote on on page, the first page of chapter sixteen. I love that the humans think they get a say. Like, (laughs) they're all like, oh my god, absolutely fucking not. This is not happening. Bitch, the dragon's words are law. What do you mean this isn't happening? Taryn chose her and Andarna chose her. What are you going to fucking do about it? You can't kill him. Right. A thousand year old fucking dragon. They create the laws. They create the rules. This is their world, bitch, not yours. Like, anyway, I was fucking laughing about that. And then I don't have anything else till page 182. You're good. Because. So chapter 16. Oh, yeah. I'm into chapter 16 now. On page 182. Rereading is fun. (laughs) (laughs) Um, because at the bottom of the page, um, ter- the, the dragons are about to fly away to go have the Empyrean, which is like their council, basically. And Taryn says, stay close to the wing leader until we return. And Violet's like, surely he meant to say squad leader, thinking Dane. And mm-hmm. Taryn says, you heard what I said. <laughs> and I imagine him saying it exactly like that. And like, yeah. he's talking about Zayden, and I'm like, put it together, Violet, first of all. But also, rereading is fun. Because, like, reading that the second time, already knowing what's going to happen, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. But I don't think I, like, put thought anything of it the first time. Yeah, I had an idea. <laughs> but not, like, I honestly didn't think, like, mates, in a way, for the dragons, at least. I just thought... yeah something similar i don't know but um you know whenever i think of taryn talking i think of stanley (laughs) from the office (laughs) like a deep like a deep voice like dr felicier from princess and the frog Mm -hmm. like that kind of deep voice but like the grumbling of Stanley from the office. That's yeah, who I think like of. A growly, grumbly, gross old. Like, man. why am I here? I'm bored, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, not I'm that I'm like better than you, bored, just like <laughs> I just I've been through this before. Like, yeah. <laughs> but. Um, and then there's fucking Dane. Listen, okay. No, no. They Listen. didn't make you choose. Dane really pisses me off at 184 because he's not even admiring the fact that she got two dragons. He is just sitting there telling her that she needs to go with the lo- like the smaller one because it's going to keep her safe. It's going like 
she's this or she's that and i'm like bruh either way like you're not even like acknowledging her fucking accomplishment the fact that she got not one but two and one of them being one of the most powerful dragons bro like you're not even congratulating anything on her accomplishment today like she saved one dragon and then she ends up getting both of them are you fucking serious and like not only you that, need to be happy for her yes absolutely and not only that but his logic doesn't make sense yes no if she picks Taren, she's going to be a target like people are going to want to kill her so they can bond with him instead yes that's a valid thing but also, this whole fucking 184 pages of this book, they've been focused on killing the weakest link. They've been focused on killing anything that's going to make the wing or the squadron weaker. So you want her to pick Adarna, who can't even fly with her on his her back? Yeah, like, okay. Your logic Go for the weak one. Logicing. It makes no fucking sense, Dane. Fuck off. And then she says, um, where where is it? At the bottom of page 184, she says, my mouth opens yeah. and shuts like a fish out of water as they search for any reply that isn't fuck you. No, he deserves fuck you. That's he exactly deserves it. Fuck off from the only responsible, the only yes. appropriate response. Fuck and here, here's the thing, too. It's not like she just, like, walked in there, said, hey, howdy do, I need you. Like, she didn't use poison. Like, she used her skills to get yeah. to where she is right then and there. And then as soon as she came back to the field, she went to the healer. Like she saw medical help and she was yeah. going to be fine. What do you mean? Pick this person. Mm. No. Mm. Fuck you. The audacity. And then, oh. And then the bottom of the next page, 185, he's like, Zayden was there. And he's like, Zayden did this. That doesn't make any fucking sense, you dumb fucking fuck. Yeah, so, like, what is he's going to tell the big giant black dragon? Hey, bond with that one. I think it's going to be funny. No, fuck you. And also, like, it seems like it's pretty common knowledge that Taryn and Segale are mates. So, why, really? Like, you think that he was like, please pick my, my dragon's mate so I have to be stuck with you forever. Like, that doesn't make any fucking sense, Dane. Because right? now he can't kill her. Because if he kills her, there's a good chance he's going to die. Like, yeah. fuck off. And then he's like, did you step in? Did I what? Did I see her outnumbered and already wounded? Did I think her bravery was as admirable as it was being fucking reckless? And she goes, and I would do it again. And he well, the fuck gets, <laughs> yeah, he gets pissed off. And then they're both like, Damn. <laughs> and I'm sitting there like, Zayden, did you just tell? Oh, and at this point, I didn't know. Like, I understood. Like, I saw, like, the mate thing, but I didn't understand Zayden's life was on the line at this point. So I was like, did Zayden just, like, reveal his feelings, like, right then and there? Like, is he as worried about her as Dane is, but, like, is willing to train her appropriately to help her get i don't know give it get her give her a fighting chance no so that was my <laughs> That's not the yeah here. yeah no i mean maybe a little bit but not the full extent of it no absolutely not um and you no know, i also wonder too if like sigail was like hey the black dragon's looking for her what and he's just mean? standing there like oh well i see where she's at she's right here she's coming kind of thing I don't and think maybe Taren made that decision until she stepped in. Yeah. That and see then I was like that doesn't make any sense either. But also I it's like that, I think that Sigail like all of that was happening and because Sigail loves Andarna or is fond of Andarna, she called Taren to come step in. Yeah. Because like she can communicate with him from across mm -hmm. distances. Um did um what is it uh no oh, fuck what is it called oh did jack want tear none yes 
That's uh, okay. I was trying to recall that. Um, mm. Unfortunately, even though he didn't get Taren, he did get a fucking dragon. Fucking yeah. Jack. <laughs> but um, I, the next page, I love this interaction because it really makes you think. It really make well one. It makes Violet think of Dane in a new light, and it also makes Dane think just based off one sentence that Zayden said, because um, uh, what is it? He goes even if I had talking about like interfering and like explained all of this, or not explained all of this, but like made this happen he goes even if i had as zeta moves towards dane towering over him would you really level that accusation knowing it would have been this that it would have been what saved the woman you call your best friend and she's like well what do i mean to him really like blah 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 like would he bend the rules for me to like save me because i am his best friend and he goes there are rules and Zayden goes, and out of curiosity, would you have, let's say, bent those rules to save your precious little Violet in that field? And Dane, like, pauses way too long to, you know, give a, you know, an accurate answer. And she's trying to deflect and say, that's unfair to ask him. And Zayden's like, oh, no, I'm ordering you to answer squad leader. Like, you tell me. What do you think? Yeah. And then he goes, no, I wouldn't have. And then she, her heart hits the ground. She knows deep down that Dana valued rule and order more than relationships, more than her. But to have it so cruelly displayed cuts deeper than Tynan's sword. And Zayden scoffs like, yeah, that's what she means to you. Got it. Um and then he's just like, it would have killed me to watch something happen to you. But there are rules. And she goes, it's fine. Even though it wasn't. And I'm like. Yeah. Ugh. Fucking Dane. Ugh. Give me the, the ick. And then that next page, he explains the fact that the dragons are mated. And that that means that they are basically stuck with one another now because mm -hmm. their dragons can't spend too long apart from each other. So they're always going to basically be stationed at the same place. Um, yeah. And during all of this, this, all these conversations are happening and we still don't know what the dragon's decision yet. Like, yeah. Cause so they're off fight. Yeah. And for all we know it, it, they could just be like, you both have to decide. Not necessarily or, let her like, decide, but... They, with the dragons and the, like, how... Not... Ne well, no, cruel might be kind of the right word. Like, they they don't fuck around. They don't mince things. It'd be easier and simpler for them to just kill her. Like, yeah. so... Yeah. Um... And it's great because Taryn's like, it is as it should be when they came back. And she's hey, like, tell right. me it's going to be all right. He's like, it is as it should be. Humans can't know what is said between us, but. <laughs> and then it's it's funny because he's just like, stupid humans think that they have any say in the matter. Yes. And I'm like, exactly. Fucking exactly. And then they she gets her... Um, dragon relic which is pretty yeah it's like a uh a damn it black it's a black dragon a black on the back of yeah midnight of, a dragon of midnight stretching from shoulder to shoulder and in the center the silhouette of a shimmering gold one so she's <laughs> she's officially bonded i think it's great too because indarna is sassy and she's yeah. like, it's beautiful. And she's like, we know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And Darna is fucking best. I love them both. It's so just yes. And then, yeah. then on the next page, this part makes me so happy. Listen, it makes me happy, but also it's it pisses me off. <laughs> All so, the same. Dane 
kisses her and they're kissing and she's like it was everything I've ever wanted except shit I don't want it anymore and I was like fucking finally and I'm sitting there it's like the motherfucking <laughs> audacity that he has to do this now after Zayden forces him yep like out out basically He's like, yeah. oh, so this is your best friend, but you wouldn't do any of this for you. Like, and then I think, and I think Dane saw not necessarily the hurt, but definitely like felt the shift. Yeah. And you had to have. But now I'm sitting here like, oh, so now it's okay for you to tell her about your feelings. But you yeah. couldn't have said that all yeah. along. I was like, the fucking audacity. And I was like, you know what? This is perfect because you lost it because you are an overbearing asshole that literally smothered her. Yep. She Love went against guy. you multiple times because you didn't believe in her. And all she wanted was that. Yep. Fuck that guy. <sighs> but anyways, that's it for, uh, that episode of the fourth yeah, one. Yeah, it is. I'm so proud of us. <laughs> I I am too, and I love that we keep stopping at like really entertaining spots in the story. Like we keep yeah, stopping perfect. at really good points. So anyway, until next time. <laughs> bye.